good morning class 10 today our topic is prevention of forest fire how can we prevent this forest for getting fired by themselves but it is a natural hazards but sometimes due to the um, misled of look out of the um, people also helping it out to wreck first with the natural hazard how forest it have to be protected because these are very essential for the life line to run because it provides us oxygen wherever whatever forests are there they are purifying the air if the air is not being purified the oxygen level will not come up then we will have lots of problem so it is mm, human beings duty to protect their forest so now how it is turning into natural hazards like forest fire what happens when uh, for the best protection against forest is to close system of lookout towers and air patrols to give the earliest possible warning to the fire outbreaks now why does fire breaks out because even the dry leaves which are being there when they come in contact with each other or many other strong winds are blowing there is some uh, other simple ways the clash and the fire spark sparkles life uh, by itself also when all the trees and the leaves is are dry even people when they are moving to uh, forest to have a look out of the forest they by mistake leaves uh, might be by any mistake leave some sparkling uh, parts out there then also fire breaks out spraying chemicals from the air and uh, oh, sorry uh, fire breaks out so it is not only uh, natural hazards is also sometime caused due to human beings so we should take care of that now as the fire breaks out spraying of chemicals from the air and you know, flight uh, fighting fire from the ground are done are to be taken up when fire breaks out uh, very recently in amazon you have seen that there was a fire at that time if you have watched it you have seen that air um, rain was given or chemicals were sprayed so that the fire was not spreading out mo- to more part of the forest better system of public education in fire precautions and control will have to be devised we have to make people educate about how to prevent fire um, from uh, spreading in the forest to take those precautions and control then only it will be easier for us control of diseases and forestry chemical and biological regular inspection should be done in the for- of the forest and spraying of insecticides are very required there are two ways to prevent spreading of pests and diseases control by biological method that is introducing introduction of insects or animals which prey on the unwanted insect that is causing diseases to plants can be done animals like goat sheep rabbits which eat up the seedlings should be kept out of the forest land then only those forest lands will uh, be protected by new trees growing up there next is control grazing of cattle in india villagers bring their cattle and goats to the forest for grazing in this way they cause hindrance or regeneration of the forest because they if every day the villagers are leaving their um, cattle and goats in the forest for grazing then new small plants will not grow and then the uh, mud, uh, the sand w- uh, the soil will be remaining open so it is better the grazing of cattle should be controlled and animal land ratio should be strictly maintained that which part of the land and how for how much time they can take the animals over there if it is controlled then the whole system will be properly handled
afforestation and deforestation afforestation is forest filled with timber should be replanted if we are filling it that means if we are cutting down of trees then we should plant a tree also because the tree takes about 20 to 20 to 25 years to grow up if we want to cut a tree then we should try to plant a tree before that only so that after 20 years we are not um, less of trees we do not get less trees for our environment this ensures both timber then and if we put a, another tree and before cutting the new one old one then this tree will be ready for the next uh, supply supply and it will protect the soil also from depletion at the same time fallow lands and wastelands should be planted with trees while increasing forest areas plants with shorter growing period and with greater range of uses can be planted not only in rehabilitated areas uh, the land but also it provide income from timber also this much i am keeping today